election season is in our country. Now, come with some, that election season in our country comes with some peculiarities, such as rampant cross carpeting by politicians. This is playing out in the floor of the Senate. The All Progressive Congress, APC, has lost three more senators to opposition parties. The lawmakers are Senator Ahmed Keita from Castina North, Lawa Gamo from Bauchi South, and Francis Ali Kenna from Edo North. While Senator Keita and Ali Kenna defected to the opposition People's Democratic Party, Gamo Pitch is on tent with the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP. Their defections have reduced the total number of APC senators from 70 to 67 in the upper legislative chamber. Meanwhile, the Senate has announced Senator Philip Adidua from the FCT as the Senate Minority Leader to replace Senator Inaria Abaribi from Abia South, while Senator Chuku, Chukuka Otazi from Enugu North is the new Senate Minority to replace Senator Adidua. Gentlemen, we know what it is what it is. Immediately after the primaries, you know, the center couldn't hold again. And we saw this alignment and realignment. Hear this yes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they couldn't just wait for the deadline, you know, for that list to be submitted to the Independent National Electoral Commission. They just had to hit another party. Well, we have to know yeah. that uh, most of our politicians are game players. Your present party does not yeah. favor they're, you they're, or the primary is game. not looking And uh, it is about clear. personal self-survival. In a normal yeah. democracy where ideology is the in thing, you don't just move from one party to the next morning to another party. But they are in a game of survival. And this thing will continue until after. The, even those who have lost out, who have no hope of mm. getting the ticket of another party, they will probably al align with the ruling party or the party that is at stake in that part of the country to get something from it, if they cannot return to the National Assembly or to the Senate. It will also happen in the state houses of assembly where people have lost their seats. And nationally, I think it's also a game of shares between the PDP, the leading political parties in Nigeria today, the PDP and the APC. In, the, in most part of the North now, what you hear is that senators or House of Rep people are, are leaving that party to join another party, obviously for some other reasons fairly that maybe this party may not be able to retain the center. And secondly, I saw some posters. Mm. They will use, uh, maybe <laughs> without necessarily mentioning names, yeah. the, the, the uh, House of Rep Senate will now put the poster of another person who comes from that part of the country. They print it on it yeah. for pers personal atrocity reasons. Mm. So that is what we are going to be experiencing between now and next year. Because people are there to make sure that they want to play the game to favor them. Um, yeah. For me, I'm, I, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy about the one of Senator Ina Abaribi. Mm. I'm a fan. I like okay. Senator okay. Abaribi. And the, the way he has been able to play his role yeah. as opposition you know, leader yeah. in the House and everything, and the House spokenness and everything. And I felt that whatever it is, the People's Democratic Party would have you know, just worked out a way to still remain in that party. Yeah. He has mm -hmm. gone to the All Progressive Grand Alliance in Abia State right now. Yeah, Ayo, you're absolutely right when you speak of um, Senator Ejene Abaribe as a man who comes with a lot of conviction, you know, in the course of debates in, 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 you know, in the Senate. Quite outspoken, you know, would look in the face and say whatever he wants to say, you know, and at some point he became the face of the opposition yeah, in yeah, the National yeah. Assembly. So. I, I can understand, you know, where you're coming from. But again, the game is on, as uh, Mr. Bato said. The game is on. Um, once the issue of uh, who holds the party structure at the, at the state level was resolved in favor of the governors, you could tell that this was going to happen, you know. Um, the kind of effect. The, the, the fact of the matter is that the governors are in absolute control and... Mm. That explains why most of the National Assembly members did not return to, to the National Assembly. Over, I hear over 170. And that's, and that's because the governors, you know, um, have come to determine who returns yes, and who does not return. Also interested, second-time yes, governors. Yes, that's what you have. So <laughs> it's, it's a game of permutations. He, he lost out in, in, in Avia in spite of his popularity. 
And, and because he's convinced that he has the people's backing, and that's why he moved into Africa. So we would like to see what plays out in uh, the election proper. Test his popularity. Whether, yeah, to test his popularity. Whether riding under the umbrella of Africa, he will be able to you know, return to the Senate. So let us not foreclose anything. Um, Abga, just like um, uh, Labour, appears to be enjoying some, you know, uh, momentum in, in the southeast. Mm. So we we'll see how that how that plays out. It would be nice to have uh, the likes of um, uh, Ayinaya Baribi back in national. We want people who will speak up, you know, for whatever it is it is worth, so that we don't have, you know, this tag around the national assembly as one that is tied to the apron strings of the, you know, executive. Of, of the executive. Will this move? Will will it? Um, bring to fall, you know, people look, that postulation that people will be looking beyond APC and PDP. Now we now see N, um, NNPP, you know, you know mentioned, they mentioned NNPP prominently. We now see party like APGA mentioned prominently. And, you know, with that, do you see this, um, that's like the sign of the well, 2023 well, I, I, election? Actually, the with the performance of both the PDP in the past 16 years and the APC, the last eight years, it's quite apparent to anybody who knows Nigeria that there's very little difference between the two parties. Mm. Now, with the coming on board of the Labour Party and the APGA that has always been there in the Southeast, where those people who have defected from the either PDP or APC, they will have been doing so based on their own confession that they are popular enough mm. to go to use the platform of that party, not necessarily the platform, with their personality. Yeah. So uh, uh, the next year's election will be based on issue of personality, how mm. strong you are with your yeah. people, not necessarily the parties. Mm. Because the parties have not given much to the people. Mm. So mm. this is when the issue of personality, your performance, mm. if a baby is convinced enough that you can still garner the my people. Name, that's you, you, that's my name. Like me, I believe that, I used to tell people that somebody like Ubi should not have left Abga when he left. He should have stayed back and built the party to be able to effectively negotiate with the Southeast, with the rappers of Nigeria. That's a story for another day. Yeah. But I believe that if they can stay, stay in the party and do things that will make your people to be affectionate to you, then they will see you as somebody who's trustworthy that they can put their, their, their bet on. But now, all the parties, they are almost the same thing. So next year will be so interesting. It's a mixture of both the individual and what he's promising, not necessarily about the political Talking party. about the turnover, the Speaker of the House of Representatives actually was so disappointed and he expressed his displeasure, displeasure because we know that it takes some time for any yeah, lawmaker. Yeah. And the, the older you become in that act of yeah. lawmaking, you become almost like get an expert. Yeah. Yes, you know, someone like Femi Bajabi Amila now is like, he kind knows of the rules. authority yeah. in his own. He has been there since 2003, and it is, you know, to Ahmed Lawa in the Senate, if he makes it back to the Senate, he has, he has been there for uh, some time. And mm -hmm. Ijide, the other day, mentioned a senator in, the, in America that spent 47 years. years. And the, that we add to the quality. It's not, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, you're right, because um, the turnover is a serious cause, you know, uh, of concern. Because you, you can't beat experience, you can't beat maturity, all right? Because the longer you stay in the house, stay in, the, in you know, um, in the National Assembly, chances are that you will have picked up a lot of knowledge, you know, along the line. Though you could, you, those you, rules. Though, yeah, yeah, you, though you could argue that there are some who just go there to sleep, you know, who would have spent the last <laughs> no eight, motion, no much, no nothing, amend. nothing. <laughs> I, 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 so <laughs> let, let, let us not even generalize. <laughs> no bill. Yeah, 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 I don't want to be. I don't want to be categorical. Yeah, but you, you, you can't, you can't be the fact that some who have been there for a much longer time will come with a lot of experience and, and all that. And so, what has happened, you know, gives one a, a lot of concern because people get in there and begin to learn, begin to learn. You know, afresh. The next one, two, three years, they are still, st still, and I'm not making any meaningful contributions. You know, on the floor, we don't want to have that kind of a thing. We want to have a house that is very, you know, very vibrant, where people are very knowledgeable, come with a lot of capacity and competence, and be able to, you know, make laws and engage in oversight functions that can move, you know, our society forward. So it's, it, it should be a source of um, worry for those of us who are, who are watching keenly. And I think that we need to continue to improve you know, on our system in such a way that we don't put too much power in the hands of, of a few. Because mm. if we, the governors continue to have, you know, a stranglehold on the party structures, we are going to continue to have this because most of them want to retire into the National Assembly and do whatever mm. it is. Mm. It's almost become, you know, a retirement ground for most of them. Or governors. 
Sam Vimere, thank you for your contribution. Thank you very and, much. And uh, Tunde Abaton, thank you for being here. Being here again. <laughs> and that's our uh, offering today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. You can watch the repeat broadcast tonight at 11, 11 p.m. And join us every Sunday from 1.30 to 3.30 for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash tvcnews Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Ozubaku. Bye for now and God bless Nigeria. Thank you.